know. So let's hear from who's first? Ross. Ross. My topic is: Do you not think Everton's just simply ran out of steam this summer, this uh, season? It's been a long season for some of them because they've had no pre-season and the Premier League is up in pace from what they're used to, the majority of the players, that he, well, all of them that he's brought in. right? I think Silva will take with places. It's going to take at least three transfer, decent summer length transfer windows for us to sort that team out. Well, for him and Brands to get that team squad sorted out. The six players he's brought in are quality. They're all a step up from what we've got. Even my best players, they're all a step up from what we've had. Right, all of them. Anyway, that's me Tuesday topic. Have Everton not just simply run out of steam? Thanks, Ross. Have Everton run out of steam? And other questions, but we'll stick to that one. Um, have Everton just run out of steam? I think he's. I think there's definitely there's definitely an argument to say that backs up. Run out of steam is probably not the right thing, but backs up. The reasons why there may be a downturn in the form in terms of, like Ross mentioned, people like Gomez who's not had a, a, a pre-season, a meaner who's mm. you know, been injured and missed pre-season as well. Bernard haven't played for six months. So I think there could be you know, a case for that. Everton's form has dipped off dramatically when the game stepped up dramatically. So mm. when it was one or two a week, they were okay. But the minute we hit Christmas and it was the obviously the derby put us on the down, but then there was like Watford and New and then the games were coming thick and yeah. fast. Our forms nose dive during that period as well, hasn't it? So I think there's I think there might be something in that. I mean what's your No, we spoke about this before and the and the amount of people that are in our first team that didn't have pre seasons or didn't have his pre season. Mm. Pickford didn't have a pre season. No. Nope. Whether you think he needs one or not. Um Dean didn't have a pre-season for us. Gomez didn't have a pre-season, didn't even come back Come back till October. Mina didn't have a pre-season, injured all pre-season. Came back in October, November even. Walcott. Walcott didn't have one. Zuma came last day, so didn't have a pre-season with us. Garner had a week, didn't he? Yeah, but Charleston didn't have a full pre-season with us. Um, so... You know, there's a lot of reason that you could you could say yes, but then you would say, well, those players have trained and they've been part of it, and some players like Gomez who didn't get going till October, November, then they've only played a part, a, you know, a few months of the season. So I suppose it works both ways. Sometimes you need you need that that core fitness mm. that you get during pre-season. And that's the thing that keeps you going all season. So what you'd hope for now is in the couple of weeks that we've had off is that it would almost be like another pre-season. And anything after this, you can, you'd can you have to... I don't think you can completely rule out and say, well, they should all be super fit. Now, pre-season is intensive. Intensive six, seven weeks of of really, really grafting and not having to concentrate on, it, on anything else, much else. Whereas in the last couple of weeks, you'd hope they'd have been doing a lot of free kick work and a lot of fitness work and, and just, just a lot of work on everything mm. so so I do think I've played its part and also I suppose the flip side is as well is the fact that Silva had them working really hard in terms of pressing from the front We'd had, up till up till December we were number one weren't we mm. in in, um, pressing. in pressing and that's mm. completely dropped off completely so mm. there has been a change in the levels of not just one or two but everybody for mm. that to happen so it, it must play it must have played a part it must be part of the scenario i think definitely and i think and it's not an excuse but i just think it's it's probably part of the reason why things yeah. have dropped off obviously a loss of form as well it, it is in that mix but i don't think you can just ignore the fact that Mm. And don't forget, like you mentioned Pickford, and people are going, well, he's a goalie, he doesn't need it. Well, he does, because it's a new management team yeah. playing a new way. New style. A new style, a new system, different... Um, We've seen that with the set pieces. Different set pieces, different centre-backs as well in front of him. Than what he had, like, I know Michael Keane's been there, but Keane was in and out last season. Zuma and Mina weren't there last season. So he's had that as well, a different left-back instead of Baines. So there has been all of that. And I think when you put all of these factors into something... It can sometimes Definitely. be like, you know, it's a mixture of, uh, yeah, of things that negatively, 
you know, impact on you. And I think you're right, the pressing thing. And something that we we say frequently, it seems like the manager only trusts 13 or 14 yeah. players. That was a big problem over Christmas when he would only play a certain. And, it, and what the the stupid part of that, and we actually said it around the time was those players who were playing were, were going to run out of steam at some point. Mm. And it's been it's it's been shown, you know, Tosin's now back in the fold. Mm. Dominic Carvalho Lewin's in the fold. Um, Tom Davis is in the fold. Yeah, John, John Joe John. Kenny's in the fold. Baines, Baines has had to play, you know, a couple of games. He's, <laughs> you're looking at it thinking, why didn't we change? Why weren't these players ready to go when we when when it when it would have helped us long term? That was a mistake. I think the managers got to got to look at and go, I made that mistake. Yeah. I should not. I should have trusted more players. Simply knowing that we've seen this before. We've seen it with Silver, and I've, we've seen it with other managers where they just trust a certain set of players and the player. Liverpool.